All eyes were on Mark Zuckerberg as he walked before Congress today. This has been a really important meeting for, for Mark Zuckerberg, for Facebook, for the public, for the investors. There's a lot riding on the future. And I think the big word is trust. Can we trust Facebook with our information going forward? It's a really interesting question. How are people expecting him to ask? There's been a degree of, of mystery about this. Martin Brooks was watching with an extra keen eye. I study what people want to say and then how they behave to be able to create a particular impact. I've become more and more fascinated over the years about what is it that the world's top communicators do to convince, influence and motivate us. What are all the tools and tricks that they're using? Everything from body language, from voice tone, from word choice, and then to be able to manage stressful situations and still to be able to communicate to your top potential. One of the things that first struck me was the speed at which he entered the room. He kind of marched to a particular spot, then stood rooted, and very much had his shoulders back and looking around and making eye contact with people saying, I am here. I take personal responsibility. Because to get that trust, we need to see ownership. We also need to see confidence. Like we get on a plane, we want to know that the pilot's got this, that he or she knows what they're doing, and they're actually trained, for example, to speak in those low tones that we expect from a pilot. So a pilot says, you're safe up in the air. Mark Zuckerberg is saying, your data is safe with me. All the way through the introductory part, he's sitting forward in the chair. His hands are placed wide apart. And this is all the, the body psychology link of confidence, that when we're feeling confident, we make ourselves bigger. Athletes, when they, when they win, will very often make these big expansive gestures. They'll, they'll hold their arms out. Even athletes that have been blind from birth will do the same expression when they, when they win. One of the things he's almost certainly being coached on is to watch out for body language things that may well give away a sense of nerves. And if you look at any of the lie detection theory, they will talk about things about covering your mouth or scratching your nose or, or touching your ear or rubbing your hands, what we call self-comfort gestures. So the best way to avoid all of those is just not to move. So that's exactly what he's done. Everybody knew he'd have a little speech and he'd give them. Where I think people were really going to start to pay attention was in the answers to the tough questions that he got. It's no surprise to me then that he started to bring in gestures and body language to assure people that he knew what he was doing. His left hand doing these single-handed chops, saying, which is a very assertive gesture. This is what we're doing. This is the actions that we're taking, which really gets across that idea of ownership and assertion and confidence. He's obviously been very well schooled. He's a human being underneath it all, and you could clearly see a lot of the stress signs. So he's looking fairly wide-eyed a, a lot of the time. Also, there were a number of times where I saw pronounced fear swallows. So you could just see him swallow and then swallow again. And that's an indication of the kind of stress that he'd be feeling. It's always that contrast between appearing too polished and appearing to have all the answers rather than really just falling on the sword and begging people's forgiveness. Getting that balance right is a, is a tricky one. And based on the evidence so far, personally, I think I'd like to see a little bit more of this sorry. I think a lot of people probably wanted to have seen a little bit more of that rather than the, the more polished media performance.